chat. Hi, chat. I found my controller just as I was trying controller. to look for it. There you go. Oh man, this fucking I... civil war post. I don't know why this post is designed like that. Uh, you want a link to the stream, Martin? Uh, yeah. Here you go, Check, buddy. buddy. Thanks, buddy. Let me check the audio. See if it what about you, me. Renny? You want a link to the stream? Yes, please. Here you go, buddy. Yes, Thank please. You. Here you go, buddy. Yes, Thank please. You. Okay, yeah, it works. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to get you playing that on stream. Yeah, yeah. At first, I, at first, I duplicated the a couple of times. Oh my god, dude. Anyways, uh, <laughs> evil sale. <laughs> Why is Why the game on evil sale? Evil sale? <laughs> <laughs> Why is that game on evil sale? Describe yourself on the circle. <laughs> oh no. I'm gonna open Garfield Kurt. Someone posted a baby to our Spam in Arkham. Imagine being born and you're the joke of the subreddit for days. Oh no. That's so sad though. Oh, they just ending him faces. Oh my god, he just fucking existed! People are so weird on Reddit. It's, I mean, it's Reddit, so. Why I and so many others are so into pop culture. Discord! <laughs> Discord vitriol! Boo! Us! Them! Horror! Lies! Deception! Tragedy! Fear! Fear. Anger! Hate! Suffering! Nonfiction? Fiction. Please get me the frack out of here. Moving right along. Hey! The ice cream made cookies. What is this bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> It's true though. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Is it called it? Sir, sir, comes Robots' assistant is grinder. <laughs> yeah, that that's real. That's a hundred percent real. Oh, I think I know why it's called Sir Cum. Sir Gugu. Circumcision? No, no circumference. No, it's it's named after circumcision. So it's yes. not circumcision. It's not circumcision. It's circumference. It I'm gonna kill. Actually, Warren just wants to fucking lie to me. I know. No, no, I, what, I, I'm not lying. It's like circum circumference. Ah! So, no, it's circumcision. Oh yeah, he is just called circumference. Oh no! It's he's it, it, called circumcision. Don't let the media fool you guys. God fucking damn it! You guys never believe me. Hey, <laughs> living a lie, bro. What is this? Let me see this shit. Bro, literally, dude. What is that, bro? I don't know, bro. It, it's it's the tower, <laughs> dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this is what we're going to do. Yeah, we're going to do it. Yeah. Okay. Mitch, Joe, Mitch, Mitch. I love it. I love it. Escuela. The USA, Mitch. But I drew a pizza. 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 What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck, Martin? You don't want to admit that on stream, Martin. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a blue location. That's the, that's what the Redditor put. Been waiting for this sub all my life. Dreamt to, that a drought that had made a land bridge country under Bangladesh called Bangladesh. <laughs> Bangladesh. <laughs> 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 Me and the homies go moving to Bangladesh after the elections. <laughs> Me when I'm playing for a funny instructor, at least I don't think about killing white people. <laughs> That's true. I love SML. Me too. Super Mario Black. Land. Black. And then whatever the hell this is. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What the fuck is that? And SML. it's uh, time to switch over. Hi guys. 
Hi, everybody. Wait, 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 but I'm still screen sharing this shit! I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Hold on. Let me put some surrender to you. Let me put, put, let me put you there real quick. Yeah. Gotta put my gosh dang T-tuber. Oh, fuck. There, you're there, uh, Rena. Uh, Thank you. You're really you smart go. enough. <gasps> Yeah. The oh, fuck? I I I got my goddamn VTuber thing open. Too bad. <laughs> you replaced Martin now. The oh, fuck? You've been replaced, man. Where the fuck are you actually not showing up? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I gotta open Garf. There we go. I'm gonna Garf. wait until y'all are y'all are ready, cause I'm just waiting to join y'all. Hold on, hold on. Right. I'm trying to fix this real quick. Yes, sir. What, why is Martin demonic? Oh no. <laughs> what yes, is oh, no. <laughs> Dark what the hell happened to me? What did you do to me, Josh? <laughs> Dark fucked up, Martin. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. You got a pink layer. You got pink surrounding you now. Hold on. <laughs> I'm surrounded by the chemical plant water. There we go. Good comment. Welcome to Garfield Car Reviews, where we never had a technical problem ever. We never had it, no. What's going on right now? I don't know. There we go. It's me. Let me move the text there so I can put Rena there. Mm -hmm. I think it's just text that, says, that just says Rena. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's Rena. What do you mean? That's like Rena's iconic uh, PNG tuber. <laughs> Bald aerial text that says Rena. Yeah, I gotta sense. check this actually. <laughs> it's so funny, <laughs> Oh my god, I love this. Thank you. <laughs> no problem, bestie. You, you yeah, are the join... co-host of uh, Garfield Card Album Reviews, after all. The fuck? Hello, chat. Welcome to Garfield. Anyway. Go ahead. Uh, welcome to Garfield Card Album Reviews. Uh, normally we wait until the game starts, but I don't feel like it this time. I'm gonna <laughs> play Zell's favorite character ever. Uh, yeah, we're on, uh, episode, uh, 102? 102, baby! Still going strong. Yep, I can't wait to give you- we're, we're in the triple digits now, I can't wait to give you, uh, fucking- I'm used to Mario Kart again. <laughs> <laughs> in case y'all didn't know, we slowly just started getting used to, um, fucking Mario Kart again. Yeah. God. Yeah, I'm not- I'm not- I'm, I'm getting thrown off too. <laughs> Uh, oh crap. Oh. I'm yeah. actually getting thrown off myself as well. This is like very weird for me. Oh uh, yeah. Um, I feel Oh go ahead. Can't wait to get to uh two hundred episodes strong though. Yes sir. Yes sir. With my uh, it's been uh, it's been a while but my uh with my co-host here, uh, Rena, and, and we just want to give you more Garfield Yeah. Fucking damn it, man. I think, the weird, I think the weird thing about this is, like, it, it kind of just feels more looser than Mario Kart. Yeah. Yeah. You get used to it until you play Mario Kart again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so anyways, uh, what is it? Last episode, it's just, uh, um, a half I half episode spiced do, together. Um, I was gonna do, um, the last two because I didn't want to do it previously on for the 100th since, uh, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, episode 100, we did, a uh, we did a big Garfield movie marathon. The live action ones are bad, the direct to DVD ones are bad. But, uh, I, I did like the, um, the new one, and there wasn't any wacky shenanigans, no wacky skits or anything for the 100th episode. Yeah, nothing too special or anything. We just thought, okay, let's just review all the Garfield movies, and that's it. There, nothing really, nothing really too big happened there. 
Uh, but yeah, like like what Josh said, yeah, the live action ones suck. The fucking direct to DVD ones also suck. But the the one with Chris Pratt, despite the voice not fitting at all, it is actually pretty fun. It, it's a fun movie. It's definitely better than the rest, which is a lot saying this is Garfield, one of the biggest IPs ever. But considering what we got, where the rest of the Garfield movies, it's better than the rest, really, <laughs> by a long shot. Tristan. And so yeah, moving on. Yeah, and then uh, we got uh, we got episode 101, which we uh, spliced the half episodes back together. <laughs> uh, yep. I was watching that live when that happened, uh, when I put that on there, because I said to be there to just start and stop the screen. <laughs> right? Also, uh, I don't know why Twitch is not showing the title change. <laughs> it still says Battle Cats. <laughs> What the hell? It says he put it in. Well, it says your battle cats. Oh no, no, oh, it's fixed. No, it's fixed. Never mind. I don't okay. know why it does that. Me neither. It's been like ten. <laughs> the scene's been on for like eleven minutes. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah anyway, was, it was interesting looking back at it because there was like a lot of uh. We did have, it was funny because we were talking about how much growth we had like in the first one and we it felt like we also had a lot of growth since back then too. Yes. Uh, I, I could have jumped in live but like um, at the time the stream was happening I was um, at the Sonic Expo with uh, Rana and our, one of our friends, mm -hmm. uh, Copycat. And it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that, um, that event. We'd love to go there next year. Yeah, we're planning on taking our other friends there too next year. Yar, if possible. Cause it's cause it was really amazing. We met a a bunch of really cool voice actors, and I got to meet Agent Stone himself, and he was yeah. really nice. I love him. <laughs> yeah, Ronald was so excited meeting him, uh, and I got to meet uh, Ryan Drummond, Jason Griffith, um, Pete Capella, the original voice for Silver the Hedgehog. Uh, and then David Humphrey, uh, who was the original voice of Shadow, and um, obviously along with Rena, meaning Lee, was also really cool. <laughs> so yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun there. I also got to be like a, a Sonic tuber that I watched from time to time. Sam procrastinates, he's a super chill guy, uh, really nice meeting him. Um, it was karaoke. I could have done some karaoke, but an emo song like dropped in and decided to sing emo shit. And, and I heard MCR for one second and decided to dip. That was the only part that bummed me out. But other than that, I had a lot of fun. I had a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. Yippee! Yeah, I also wasn't there last night. I, 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 I didn't have anything going on. I was just really, like, demotivated that week. <laughs> with everything. Yeah, same. Yeah, we, we we were both like demotivated after after everything going on. Yeah. So we just so I just like I, I, I didn't want to do it, especially if you weren't gonna be there. So I just canceled for the week. Yeah. yeah except so well, I put that up there because I didn't want to like lose our streak. We're almost like a hundred episodes straight in a row. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we kept the 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 the, the streak is still there. So uh. Yeah, um, also, uh, uh, yeah, that, I thought I had something to say, but I, I don't remember now. <laughs> Ether Gore. Oh, I'm a fan. But yeah, now, now that, um, we're, we're, um, fuck, my brain's dying. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. <laughs> Where do we go now? Hey. But yeah, we're, we're we're back basically, and uh, we're back to doing our old good old fashioned Alan Garfield kind of reviews. Yep, and uh, we're gonna get in the uh, since we uh, we haven't done like a traditional like album review for like the past few episodes. Uh, we we got a bunch of album reviews since we got to do it bi monthly now. <laughs> yes, sir. We got four Steven. Uh, well, three, oh, three scene files of shit, but one, a uh, pretty good one. Uh, we got, we got some bi-monthly for September on October. Uh, I just realized in, in your stream you misspelled September. <laughs> September. It's fine. Yeah, I'm just, whatever. I'm just here because I didn't want to leave. 
Yeah, I'm running away and leave. It's like the third time it happened, I think. <laughs> Soon, just Ravenna is just gonna just be there as like the third ghost. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> just, they're just gonna be there from time to time. The third occasional ho uh, co-host that just that just refuses to leave. <laughs> the one that's just happy to be there. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, so the albums we've chosen for this uh, time period is One Four Three by Katy Perry, released on September twentieth. Then he got <laughs> cancelled. By Motley Crue, I'm 90% sure I'm mispronouncing it. Uh, released on you October know what 4th. Is Motley Crue? <laughs> okay, no, okay, we good. Uh, I released again, released on October 4th. Then we got on the same day on October 4th, uh, Moon Music by Coldplay, and on October 20, I didn't put in the fucking date. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I have the Wikipedia article <laughs> open. October 28th is Chromacopia by Tyler the Creator. Wow, and since we're, um, 16, uh, minutes into the stream already, <laughs> let's just jump right into it. Yeah, let's go straight into it. So, starting off, so, again, going with chron chronological order as usual, we're starting off with 143 by Katy Perry. Oh, dear God. Oh, boy, uh, yeah, um, I, I, second flop, Katy Perry's second flop era? And it's even worse Definitely. this time? Yes, sir. So yeah, Katy Perry. I'm yeah. I'm pretty sure like 90% of you watching will be familiar with her because she does have like a ton of like I, I feel radio like more hits. Than that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like they, like this it's like she had a ton of hit songs, like what do you got? You got Fire Race, you got War, you got Part of Me. Um I'm probably missing some some that I Oh, California Girls, that's another one. Yeah, what for your girls? Yeah, there we go. But yeah, um, yeah, she got a lot of popular hits at around, I think, 2017, if I recall correctly. Yeah. She had a first flop era, which was Witness. That was um, greatly covered by um, Tar in the Shadows in his uh, Train Record series. Which, uh, if you want more info on that, you can watch on that video. But basically, the album wasn't very successful. She didn't do too good on it. Even though she's trying to be more uh, progressive with her music, from what I remember. Yeah, but also she kind of held back because I know, um, Katy Perry has, like, a very, like, a conservative traditional family and didn't want to upset yeah. them. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Also, I fucking died. And also, I think she remembers she ditched, um, from working with, with, um, her, with her producer. I'm not gonna name him, but from what I remember, he... He was like in this like big ass fucking lawsuit, um, because uh, he was like sex because he's what is it like a bunch of sex crimes against Kesha. Oh, and uh, oh, there you go. I keep on leaving because I feel like this is Mario Kart where A and B are switched. Lol. <laughs> but yeah, uh, uh, she, uh, she ditched that guy off. Uh, I uh, witnessed didn't do too well. She also had another <laughs> album. <laughs> In 2020, called Smile. Nobody fucking remembers that. I didn't remember that. I didn't even know it existed until like um, D'Angelo Wallace fucking mentioned it in this video, in his recent, in a recent video by Katy Perry. So LMFAO. Yeah. I just know. Um. Uh. I just know. Uh. Yes, he fell off, and I think he fell off even more this time. Yep. With uh, 2024, it's 143. I don't even know what the fucking number means, and I don't even care. Um, which, funny enough, her first lead single was shown off, and we're gonna, I'm gonna talk about a bit here. Woman's World. Uh, first problem, she went back to that producer that I mentioned, so that's fucking great. Awesome. Awesome. Taking back everything you fucking stand for with the past two albums. I did, may not do two of them, you know, you put a little bit of heart into them. But no, it's all thrown away with that fucking um, announcement. I remember that was like all over the news at some point when it comes to her. And then you got like the song itself, which is honestly just insanely fucking generic for something that's supposed to be like empowering and shit. <sighs> Yeah, uh, but, wait, but first, before we talk about the album, can we, uh, talk about the album cover? <laughs> oh, right, yeah, I fucking hate it. What do you mean? It's so good. It, it just, 
It's so fucking ugly. I don't know what she's trying to do here. She's trying to make herself look like a cyborg, a, a robot, a celestial being. It just looks weird. She's trying to make herself look like the number 143. That is... 143? But yeah, back to the... Back to the album. Yeah, the song is like insanely generic. But... It gets much worse, cause then you see the music video. <laughs> Oh boy! Boy, um, yeah, no, that music video is gone awful, and I think it actually legitimately ruins the song. Like any goodwill that song has is, is gone, eradicated from that god awful fucking music video. Yeah, um, um, oh, <laughs> uh, boy. I'm trying to find the words for it. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I know it like starts off with like Katy Perry dressed up as that one, um, it was like that one poster from World War, World War II, I believe, with that woman, um, doing the, the strength pose thing. Yeah. And, uh, and like, it's just a lot of like, skipping clothes, skipping dancing, then at some point she grows, she has robot legs. And does no shirt, no pants tied it, and then she infiltrates this one house where she, where like some girl's doing a TikTok, and she does the TikTok with her, but then takes her fucking ring light, which turns out to be the symbol of women, a shape like the women icon you see in like some restrooms, not like the stick finger one, but like the circles. Oh, circle the, the yeah, the gender one. Yeah, yeah, that one, the gender one. There's that, and then it's like, who are you? I'm Kenny Perry, and it's like, I don't get what the music video is trying to convey at all, but it's like a terrible fucking mess of visuals that make no sense whatsoever. Yeah. It's it's who fucking are horrible. Who I, are I you? I'm Kenny Perry. A lot of, um, the symbolism of, like, woman and stuff, it's just really weirdly done. I, just, yeah. I finally remembered the uh, good... Try and get to my notes, and then now the fucking um, Google Docs app has the update, of course. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have my notes because I was trying to focus on the race, and then I finally. Oh, fuck, I got distracted. I finally get to it. <laughs> and then it has to update. Bruh. Uh, but the woman. The uh, there's a lot of weird imagery for that. I remember specifically. One, there's just like, uh, you know, like those little, like, um, things you hang up on your, uh, car, like fuzzy dice and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Remember there's like one, there's like a thing like that, but it's with, like a symbol of a uterus? <laughs> oh, yeah! I forgot about that. Oh, yeah, and also, like, Joseph Paytas tells up in a music video for some reason. And I just remember something, now that it's, now that, like, she's like part robot, she, like, Fills herself up with gasoline yeah, by sticking then, that yeah, nozzle up her ass. <laughs> At least on her ass, but like it's still like super weird. I I hate it so much. It's it's funny though, like for a song that's meant to like empower women and shit, it's it, it's a like a whole amazing video. And even like the lyrics comes across as insanely sexist. <laughs> yeah. It's like yeah, good good job proving that it's woman's wrong with. Pouring gasoline on your ass. I don't fucking know, dude. Awesome. And wait, wait, we, we got to the rest of the album yet. We got fucking Gimme Gimme featuring 21 Savage. Uh, 21 Savage couldn't save that shit. I forgot that he existed. <laughs> I don't blame you. But yeah, um, yeah, it, it, it immediately goes to like, oh, uh, women empowerment to, oh, fuck me, please. And also just have it not sound good. Uh, later on, you have like the single version without the 21 Savage uh, verses. His verses are not awful, but they don't make the song any better. And for, surprisingly, the single version is just actually even worse about 21 Savage. Because you have like Katy Perry's horrible fucking lyrical flow. And it just, it fucking sucks. I hate it. <laughs> Love it. Why? Why is there? Why was there three pies over there? I I I don't know. 
But yeah, then you got like, um, and then after that, the rest just gets like really boring. <laughs> Actually, no, I forgot like track four. Yeah, oh gorgeous featuring Kim Penchers. That's that's fucking lame. I don't care about that. But then you got like this one. Um, I'm in his. He's mine featuring Doichi. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I remember seeing a snippet of this on Twitter being quote tweeted because there was like the original caption was just like, oh, um. Name a song released this year that's better than this. And, um, it's, it's funny because, like, the clip they chose is from, I think, the post chorus where they say, La da dee, la da 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 la da dee. Yeah, they have la, the, uh, la, they have the Plants vs. Zombies, uh, roof type beat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, ding, 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 ding. That's how it sounded. It, it's so <laughs> lame. I had a good it's, run. It's like, oh my god, eighth place. It's it's such a fucking awful song. It, 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 and the music video is not even any better either, because it's just like, what is it, Katie and the featured artist just trying to be all like sexy and scandalous, but it, it just comes across with anything but that. <laughs> Yeah, and I also uh, put in my notes here since I finally got that up. And oh man, I think I'm becoming asexual. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I remember like in our listen after that song's over, I just searched up arousal antonyms. <laughs> Move, Josh. And put two of that in my uh, Sorry, notes. I, got, I, I keep forgetting them. for a bit. I keep getting mixed up on the controls. Jeez. <laughs> Yes. Alright, I put in my notes, uh, the song is counter-incentive, the video is disincentive. <laughs> so yeah, uh, yeah, the, the rest- It wouldn't matter if it's a good song, it's just not, it just doesn't work. Yeah. Then, um, I don't know if it's even, like, worth talking about the rest of the tracks, because they're all just, uh, uh, become really boring. Um, well, I do want to mention a couple, uh, I, I do want to mention, uh, first, Lifetimes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, shit, sure. yeah, yeah, no, 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 I remember. Uh, <laughs> first of all, the song's really boring, but secondly, this, this, the music... Martin? Soccer game. Oh, I just started screaming, my bad. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's a soccer match, yeah. Uh, anyways. Who's playing? Uh, Honduras and Mexico. Oh, then I hope Mexico wins so that, so that I, my mom can find a reason to laugh at you again. Um, Honduras just scored. Oh, uh, well, I'm killing myself. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cheaters. Uh, 63, we're in the 63, yeah, they're in the, 63. Yeah, they're in the second half. So yeah, back to lifetimes. Um, I will tell my mom real quick after this. Uh, oh, yeah. it's, it's, it's mainly because of the music video. Um, because it was like, it's like pretty standard stuff, but there's like, uh, there's like environmental damage in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can elaborate that more. So yeah, I, I've heard about it because of that D'Angelo video. But um, the music video just has to um, going around the beach and dancing around. But apparently. Um, and went under investigation for possible environmental damage. What? It a, yeah, it was for the environmental department of ba Balearic Islands. The production company did not request a proper author authorization before filming the music video. This one article by Billboard by Rania An Anipos. So, as following the release of Katy Perry's Lifetime music video, an investigation has been opened to determine whether filming the clip caused environmental damage to the protected dunes. I was set of a uh, Ses Palmador, which are amid to one of the most ecologically pro prosperous enclaves in Spain's ba Balearic Islands. The Environmental Department of Balearic Islands shared a press release on Tuesday, August 14th, that the production company did not request a proper authorization before filming the music video. The sales director clip uh, for the Dr. Luke produced track, uh, released on Tuesday, finds a superstar making memories and LBs of family. Uh, we got the best of music video itself. It says, per the release, one of the scenes was filmed in the dunes of, of St. Palinor in a prohibited area marked by ropes. 
the environment department noted that the video is not a crime against the environment, but an infringement, as filming quote unquote can be authorized when re requested properly. So yeah, production. So yeah, that's like the only part that I'll remember about this song. Awesome. <laughs> Fucking wonderful. Doing so many, so much wonders, Kitty Perry. But yeah, like I said, the rest of the tracks are not really much worth of it, worth talking about because they're just all like super boring love songs. They got like crush. It's just about the feeling of having a crush, obviously. Um, wow. Wow. Thanks, Ray. <laughs> I, I, for, I forgot what all the love is, but I just put that I, it goes so hard if you've never listened to music before. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I get I forgot. Uh, got, got Nirvana, not the band, but I the song by Katy band, Perry. Though. I love that band. I didn't know it they is... did a collab with Katy Perry. In the oh, year man. 2024. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, the only part I remember that is just how, how, how um, verse 2 sounded so off. There's a part where it says, bring me in, another close, take a ride on my rainbow. I completely forgot how it sounded, but I know it just doesn't sound sound natural. It was like something like "Take a ride, ride on my rainbow," something like that. I forgot. But I just noticed yeah. there was like no flow during that. <laughs> yeah, I also want to mention uh, "Wonder Buff" because every time "Wonder" was said in that song, uh, Martin uh, played the Super Mario Bros. Wonder theme. <laughs> <laughs> I did. And it feels like it tries to do like something conceptually more important, but it still just comes comes off the same in execution. Yeah, for sure. And uh, when I was oh yeah, I forgot uh, in the playlist of all like the songs, any song that doesn't have a music video but an official audio thing, it's just labeled as um pseudo videos for some reason. Like, I don't know why, they could have just called it a visualizer. It's not even like a visualizer or anything, it's just a still of the animal cover in 16 by 9 So they could have just called it an official audio, but no, wanna make it sp You wanna be special and quirky for your dog shit animal that you brought the fucking rapist producer back. But they made good music together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but one of them raped Kesha. Okay, but they made good music together. <laughs> okay, but like... Like, the guy should not make music again after what he did. But they made music, dude! <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I do briefly want to touch on the bonus tricks. Um, you got, uh, Has a Heart, I Woke Up, and No Tears for you, New Year's, which kind of, like, suddenly, like, oh, the, the main album is, like, love and sex and shit. And, uh, the bonus tracks are just, like, be happy, everybody, yippee! yippee. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's so ha happy, dap. Happy Dappy, they're like, I don't even know how to fucking feel. It almost made me lose it when we get to No Tears for New Year's. But it's just like, again, with like the, what is it, Witness and I guess Smile to an extent, I don't know. Like, she tries to like be more like, um, sentimental, I guess, with her songs. I wouldn't say deep, but like, she does try to like put more, um, raw emotion on today. But here it's just like, I'm happy Dappy. Like, like, especially with I Woke Up, because it, it, it just, this sounds like, it sounds so royalty free, it kind of hurts. It sounds like some shit Spongebob would sing, and that's an intel to Spongebob. <laughs> <laughs> also, certain someone just asked me why you followed them on Instagram. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> yeah, I fucking knew it. It's, there's a missing point. Missing point. <laughs> just, just, just say that, just say that to him. <laughs> I can't do that because I'm driving right now. Yeah, Martin, you can't text and drive. I can't text and drive. Yeah, we can't text and drive, though. That's I got a license for a reason. Yeah, you can. What do you got left to lose in this video game? I got a license, man. I don't want to get that revoked. Well, fuck it. Just, just do it. I don't want to get it revoked, man. You don't know how hard it is to get a license. Even though you, like, had to try twice. Hello. The first time for me doesn't count because I was I came unprepared. Hello, my fail. You I'm sorry if my. That's inappropriate, Josh. 
Yeah, what the I fuck, Josh? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. That's fucked up, Josh. I don't know why I said that, I'm so sorry. Go in a corner <laughs> think about what you've done. Yeah, we'll, we'll handle Garfield card. I totally listened to the rest of the songs that were that you guys were talking about. Go into that corner real quick. Alright. I totally listened to all the songs that you guys were listening to. So, yeah, what else is there? You got Truth, Artificial, those are the ones you haven't mentioned yet. Yep, those are definitely the songs of ever. Um, again, you have the Gimme Gimme Soul version as a bonus track, which, like I said, is even worse than the one featuring 21 Savage, so that's funny. Uh, okay, okay, Josh, I think you can go, I think you can get out of your corner right now. Yeah, Josh. All right. <laughs> so yeah, uh, anyways, that's really it for for this album. Um, overall, it's we're, we're, Flop Era 2.0, baby, except even worse. Um, I'm expecting another train records from Todd the shows on this album soon. I don't know how soon. I've just been literally saying the whole time. First artist to receive two train records? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hopefully. But yeah, that that was that that album was terrible. Yeah. Like it, it's bad enough that you brought again you brought back she brought back that that stat producer that I won't fucking name. But also because I forgot his name and I just don't want to name him. And they brought back that producer. Um but also just make like the what some of the worst songs in your fucking career. Alright, I'm gonna sit the next one out just to talk to my parents real quick, so Alright. Hey uh uh fucking one, one out of ten. That shit was dog ass. Yep. Uh not fun. Not very fun. Not fun at all. I hate it. So yeah, and moving on to the next one, are which... Said, are you sure we should go on without the co-host here? And they'll be fine. Yeah, I'll be fine. I just gotta talk to my parents real quick. Yeah. <sighs> so yeah, next one we have on our list is Cancelled by Motley Crue. Uh, yeah, if you uh, don't know, Motley Crue was a big, uh, one of the big, uh, hair metal bands in the 80s uh you gotta kickstart my heart uh home sweet home uh girls 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 shout at the devil dr feel good mm -hmm. stuff like that <laughs> yeah big big man and uh just like all that's what we're some of the big bands are still going on despite being old as hell well they just um, we came have... back with this actually because um their last before oh, yeah, this, yeah. their last one was in 2008 <laughs> Yeah, that, at least the first, like, real album, because, like, they did return, sort of, in 2019 by doing a film soundtrack for, I think, uh, the, the Dirt. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, they ha I haven't heard from, the uh, fans haven't heard much from them since then. And in this, this month, well, last, well, October, this year they returned with a very short EP, only three tracks, 12 minutes long. All cancelled. Yeah. Imagine waiting all that time for them to come back and you get this. <laughs> yeah, like, as long as you're... Like, unless if you're, like, a conservative Molly Crew fan, this is a fucking... This must fucking stock. Because, <laughs> like, the first shot cancelled is exactly as you expect for a song called that. <laughs> Yeah, it's literally this old man yelling at Cloud. It's literally just that dumb, like, Oh, you you tried to cancel me? No, you can't cancel me. I'm gonna cancel myself. Yeah. And, um... Fucking hell, dude. It, it was so awful. And I, and I learned some of the things about the band members, even though I'm not 100% familiar with them. Like, uh, one of the members goddamn killed someone in a car crash, and permanently brain damaged two people in that in said accident or how one of the drummers i think his name is tommy something uh was accused of sexually assaulting someone in 2003 yeah i've heard a lot about the band members uh they're not good people 
Yeah, that's just and uh, of course with those types of people you have them making songs like this fucking garbage just yelling and screaming gosh dang man they're canceling me oh look you bad Eddie <laughs> oh how could they only kill the couple they only kill the me god damn it's like oh man oh how could they cancel us it, it's not like you know one of you know, only only one of our members killed someone and probably brain damaged two people. And I don't know, it's the other was kind of silly, you know, accused of sexually assaulting someone. She does drink, everyone's gone through that. <sighs> but yeah, I don't know, for real, that, that was that, that, that song is exactly as expected, it's exactly as terrible as it sounds. It even has a, it has a music video too, it's not the weirdest of them. Trust me, we'll get to that. We'll get to that in a bit. <laughs> but yeah, it has like it just has the members playing in like a in like a crowd with like flashing lights and shit. And you could tell they they look fucking washed. <laughs> when you go washed, <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> like I, I haven't like seen their faces before. It's so fucking funny, dude. They're trying to be so hard and tough, even though all. Almost every member is in their goddamn 60s. <laughs> yeah, it's also funny though because like it's like a they're like trying to like put on like their old personas. I I, I don't know about much about like the 2000s ones. I don't know if they w reverted at all, but I know um in like uh, the 90s they started like trying to take like a more serious image on. I guess they just forgot about that. <laughs> I guess they did. That's fucking nuts. Like even Metallica, like at least from when we saw in that um, uh, what should, I forgot that I forgot that one season that was called, but that not album. Seasons. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. That. Uh, even they don't look as watched as Motley Crue. No, <laughs> which is funny because they made Saint Anger and Lulu. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm forgetting about that. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, no. Again, cancel is just as expected. Next, with and then moving on to the next track, which is Dogs of War. And good grief, what is that fucking music video? Genuinely, what the hell is that music video? What, 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 what? Okay, um. The song, um, I, I couldn't even really focus on it because it was just like noise to me. I think it was more of like the same shit from Cancelled, but I was just so focused on what, whatever the hell was going on in the music video, man. <laughs> yes, yeah, because like, I, 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 yeah, like, like what Josh said, the song's pretty much, it, it, at least it seems like the same as the others, but he had the music video, which is gonna be really hard to describe, and I went. What I was watching to bear with me when I try to describe it, but it's all like 3D animated. You have like dogs in suits because I guess dogs of war, and you also have like the band members in like 3D models and not like green screen or anything. Um, they're like they're like in this like giant ass weird ass plane with like skeleton skeletons like skeleton pilots driving it, and then you have um, you like this like prostitute likes thing giving them drinks it's just legs ass and um some machinery thing to give them drinks i believe that was like the first part of the music video and then something struck them down i completely forgot uh some pterodactyl thing i believe yeah some pterodactyl in the suit and um they get they get flown down and um they, they crash land and get fucking turned into zombies, I guess. Cause, cause it's just zombies. Oh, zombified. Um, we woke people. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like they, they get turned into zombies, which is funny because they already look like zombies in their current age already. But, <laughs> um, and then they like, I guess, cause chaos because you have like, um, these people in like, um, picket signs just going like protesting against them, I guess. It's like these uh, like, weird all... looking pig people, too. <laughs> yeah, they're, yeah, they're portrayed as pigs for some reason. Uh, very classy move of them, I guess. I, I remember one of the picket signs specifically said, like, oh, 
like the Tommy guy, the one I mentioned was previously um uh, accused of sexual assault. Yeah, they put a pick aside and just like Tommy fucked my wife, so I said I'm just like, don't do that. <laughs> It's crazy that they're still doing that shit so till like 21 years after that, cause it's like, in 20, in 2003. Yeah, it's like, uh, it, it's like, are you, are you hiding something? Did you really do it? Did you really do it if you're gonna keep fucking bitching about it? Like, if you're bringing it up at that point, that's your fault. <laughs> yeah, like, it's on you, you, it's on you, you retirement, you retirement home motherfuckers. <laughs> like, what the fuck? So yeah, uh, they have that, and I just forgot how it ends. I just know it has like the band members in zombified form performing in front of a circling, in front of a uh, like a crowd of like circle of like dog suit guys circling around the fucking thing, and it's just such it's so weird. It's not like that Metallica music video, Crowd of Barbed Wire, which is like really funny. <laughs> but even with that, it just seems like the intent is just like, oh yeah, just uh. This weird music video, which, yeah. But with, like, the Monty Crew Dogs of War, when I don't know what the fuck is trying to do, it just seems like they were on hard drugs doing it. It's all animated by one fucking guy, so that one guy must have been snorting some hard coke or something. Yeah. Some black tar heroin to create this bullshit. Like, what in the world, dude? Also, we should be watching the Crown of Bard the Way video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guess who's back? Back again? Yeah. Oh, welcome back, Renna. But yeah, the next one you have is uh, Fire For Your Right, which is just a cover of the Beastie Boys songs of the same name. <laughs> yeah, but it's run by a bunch of people in like the 60s, so it just doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it, it, it's just so funny seeing these motherfuckers in their goddamn sexy just going like, Get yeah, a party! For your way! <laughs> to party! And also just like, the lyrics just... in general are just like, Oh my god, mom's so, so annoying. It like makes sense because Beastie Boys are pretty young when they wrote that song. I heard screams again. Did they score? They scored! Holy shit, 2 nil. I'm going to kill myself. Holy crap. Mommy! <laughs> oh god. Mommy! <laughs> you're, you're lucky she can't hear me right now. Oh, brother. You're Anyways. lucky she can't hear me. You're not invited for Christmas anymore. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, but yeah, back to... Um... Back to the song, yeah, like like what Josh said. Like, you have, like, the lyrics just be like, Oh, man, mom's so annoying. And it's sung by, like... Motherfuckers who belong in a retirement home. <laughs> Why does it keep beeping? Oh my god. Why does it keep doing that? I have no what, idea. What happened? Oh, so for like the for like the longest time now, ever uh, at a certain point, like all my streams, they'll just start to be like a beeping noise, like beep, 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 beep. I don't know why. It just, mean, it just means your stream is about to explode. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're actually streaming on a crumb board. <laughs> <laughs> you're actually streaming on a crumb board. <laughs> you're actually streaming on a crumb board. <laughs> I, 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 I need to look that up, but every time I always just keep forgetting. <laughs> you're actually but, streaming on a crumb board. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, back to the thing, yeah, and that's that's really it for a cancelled. Just as awful as expected, and I guess you could say Motley Crue is super fucking washed right now. I fucking love Motley Crue. I guess they need to pay off their mortgages or something. I guess I guess they're they're creating their songs on a Chrome board. <laughs> Anyways, on to the next one, released the same day on October 4th, Mood Music by Coldplay. I love Coldplay. Uh, Coldplay, I'm pretty familiar with Coldplay, mostly with like their popular hits and only really the most popular ones. Um, I remember hearing, I remember Fix You, obviously. They have uh, Viva La Vida. Are you um, so <laughs> Are you so Um... <laughs> They have like the one with the monkeys, the monkey dancing music video. I completely forgot what it's called, but that's all I remember. It just has the monkeys. 
I, yeah, I've, I've heard the popular ones, and I wasn't really a fan. <laughs> yeah, like like they're pretty good songs, but I went, but I'm not like super um into them, you know. Yeah. So now we have this um, new Boon Music album by them, and I forgot to I forgot to mention the album cover for the Motley Q one shit. Oh uh, yeah, it's exactly what you'd expect for an album called Cancelled. Anyways, uh, yeah. Moon Music <laughs> actually uh, does have a pretty nice cover. Oh yeah, that, that's like the best part of the uh, well, spoilers is the best part of the album, but I do actually genuinely love the album cover. <laughs> yeah. like, like it's super pretty. I, I could just stare at it all day. Like I'd buy, like I'd buy a poster. I buy a poster for that album, even though I don't like it myself. <laughs> Martin's gonna like Martin's just dying to put that in like the best elms for the covers for the end of the year video <laughs> for the end of the year stream yeah. now. <laughs> even oh, though yeah, it doesn't definitely. even like the album. <laughs> yeah, it's like hey, I mean, I like it's like uh, I don't like the album, but goddamn, that album cover is pretty as fuck. Uh, I don't like the deluxe edition version though. That one, look, that one is kind of weird, kind of fucked up. I guess I know it's like inverting the colors, I believe, but. I don't know, I still like the Sander Sander edition a lot more. Yeah. But anyways, uh onto the album itself and uh you know it's 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 boring. It's really boring, honestly. Comedically boring. Yeah, like it's not anything too terrible like the ones we talked about, like the previous ones we talked about. It's not anything groundbreaking on her. Like at the very least of the Coldplay one, it has some good concepts like the track Jupiter, all about, you know, self acceptance and from what um the lead singer said in the interview. Uh, it's about like, you know, it's dedicated to the LGBTQ uh community because he's an ally um to them, which is really nice. But it's just really boring to listen to, I'm sorry. <laughs> Like even got shot, even that shark we we pray, which has like two different versions, but they all feature four damn artists, and it sounds really, really boring. Yeah. Oh shit! I was I was unprepared. Fuck. Yeah, it's like it's a be like it's like all those features, and none of them really do anything. Yeah, they just kind of like sing like the same. It's like they don't like. It's like the same one note thing, they're all like very one note and it just does not sound interesting at all. And even like instrumentally, it just doesn't sound like it. it's almost, it's, it just doesn't, it kind of seems like they're going for acapella, but not really. It just, it just, it's just kind of weird. I, it's I don't acapella, really like it. but not really. And uh, the music videos for both versions was really, are also pretty bad, not gonna lie. And like a pretty funny way, uh, more specifically, the one with the crowd. Cause like every shot they have of, of it, where it's just like um, the the lead singer and all the feature artists in a in a circle around the crowd of people. I don't know what location they're in, but they're in a city place, and all the shots are just like basic medium long medium long shots of like um, them and the crowd. But they try to make it make it look good. By doing like a bunch of cuts like every like five seconds and every single cut just having like a different aspect ratio different effect different filter it, it's so fucking funny to me it's even got a filter <laughs> it's even got a filter yeah it's like it's <laughs> it's so funny um there's there's another track that I that I don't want to talk about. It's all my love, not for the song itself. The song itself is still pretty boring, but it just has a pretty funny music video. But that's because the way we approached we approached it was was pretty funny. Because <laughs> you have like um um the lead singer dressed up as some guy with glasses and hair. That guy with the glasses? I just stand it. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, I have like this guy in like a costume. Uh, buying like a bunch of red balloons and me, Ren, and Josh like all joked about like oh it's like it's like Pennywise's redemption arc. <laughs> Pennywise, if he wasn't able to scare children anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're just approaching that way, and this became funny. 
And we just didn't pay attention to this song at all. I wasn't even paying attention to the long ones, which are Alien Hits slash Alien Radio or Rainbow Emoji and One World, which are both six goddamn minutes long. Yep. Awesome. Alright, I'm gonna sit this one out again. Yeah. Oh, alright. But yeah, the, yeah, those songs are like insanely boring. And, um,. Oh yeah, good feelings. There's there's that one. I want to mention that one because um, apparently the Chainsmokers were like the original collaborator for this. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah, it it checks out because it's like this really happy dappy song about like um, you know good, good feelings in the relationship, and that's 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 it. That's all the fucking song is. <laughs> awesome. Yep. So, uh, that would be, that would be all the tracks. But that's a whole deluxe version with ten more tracks. Cool beans. Yeah, we didn't. Yeah, we didn't even pay attention to those. Um, they're all mostly just the same songs, but remakes in a slightly different way. They're not really worth talking about, and they weren't even really worth listening to either. We just used it as background noise while all of us played uh, Mario Kart Eight. <laughs> Yeah, it was pretty fun to play Mario Kart 8, except Martin was cheating. Oh, God, come on, come on. He's cheating, he was cheating, he was cheating. I, I, was, I was not, there. I was not cheating, I was not cheating. I don't know how you did it. I hate the liberal machine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, there was like one part where it's just like, uh, where I just beat Martin the last second on a trick. I literally yeah. got him at the literal last moment. <laughs> Yeah, the literal last second, and I just screamed on the top of my lungs so fastly. I hate the liberal media. Because <laughs> we are laughing we... for like a straight media. <laughs> yeah, we are gonna need this bit, or at least it, the bit that just Josh started, where like anytime he gets hit or loses, he just like, I hate. He's just like, oh, this game, I hate video games, or it's so woke. <laughs> Then I just decided to continue, and I just again shouted, just being like, "I hate, I hate the liberal media." <laughs> I hate the liberal media. I hate the liberal media. We're probably gonna, we're probably gonna get a part two of that soon after the stream. Probably. Bye. But yeah, uh, again. Oh yeah, don't forget there is two new tracks. <laughs> for 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 this for the deluxe edition, you have "Man on the Moon," "Man in the Moon," and a wave. Oh yeah, Karate Kid. Kid. Yeah, yeah, Karate Kid. Yeah, they definitely exist. Anyways, overall, the album has some good concepts. It has some good messaging. The pretty decent vocals. Decent instrumentation, but I don't know. To me, it's just boring to listen to. I'm sure some Coldplay fans enjoy it, but for me, it's just eh. Whatever. Five out of ten. Moving in. Uh, I think I forgot to. I think I forgot to write the Molly Q one. I put. I, I say it's a three out of ten. Cause like at least it's just three tracks at twelve minutes, and it's just kind of fire to laugh at. And I, I've already said the K Perry one, but I want to stress that it's a one out of ten because it's just so god fucking awful. I hate that when you're going, that when you get the perfume thing, you're not able to go back. Like reverse. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that I think sucks. um Jack from Lost would especially hate it because he has to go back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never watching Lost now. Yeah. <laughs> well, I watch Lost when I have the literal number one fan of Lost here. Anyways, moving on to our last album of this five months. Finally! <laughs> I'm tired of hearing about this. I want to be here. Because I want to play Kari. I wanna play I wanna play cars. I wanna play cars. I like playing with you guys. That's all that's the only reason I joined. I like playing with you guys. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, uh, the last album 
Releasing on October 28th. It's Chromacopia by Tyler the Creator. Tyler the Creator. Um, He's I'm, cool. Yeah, this, yeah. Uh, I'm, familiar, I'm familiar with him. I've listened to some of it. Or at least snippets of some of the most popular tracks. I've, I've seen like videos surrounding, surrounding him. I remember there was like a video where he made some waffles and they looked pretty good. <laughs> and he was really, really funny with that. <laughs> I, I just showed that video actually to you guys. But yeah, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but it's a, it's a funny video. He's a funny guy. Um, I know there's like some memes um, <laughs> that are spawn, like the psych, and uh, there's um, there's another one. What is it? I'll whoop your ass. Your girlfriend look like my mom. <laughs> Where did those even come from? I've never heard of these. Same. I. I actually don't know, but I know the state. I don't know from Tyler, so. <laughs> God, the stages, but, the stages on these are ass. Oh, holy shit. Yeah, we know. But yeah. Right, well, musically, I've heard he's like, he's like experimenting, he's like very experimental, always trying like new things, and obviously having like new personas with each album. Um, like, for example, Igor Persona? is like a. Why not? <laughs> Persona Hurt? No. Is one of his personas Joker? I don't no. need a new persona though. I'm fine being Sydney. <laughs> God damn it, Jess, I forgot about that shit. I still want to be Sydney. I hate you guys. Anyways, <laughs> yeah. New characters for each other, like Igor, where he has this character called Igor. And who Sydney. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, Igor. <laughs> It's Sydney. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> yeah, like, uh, like Igor was like very desperate and keeps falling in love for what I've heard. And yet, uh, Chromacopy is no different. You have this character called Saint Chroma who like hides behind a mask. That's what the point of the mask is. I hate you. <laughs> Don't worry, I hate you too, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The feeling's anyway. mutual. I know. Anyways, yeah, the, uh, fir first the album cover for Chromacopia. Yeah, it's uh, St. Chroma himself. Yeah, it's yeah. St. Chroma himself. Uh, I do really like it. I like the pose, you know, the lighting and everything. It looks really cool. Yeah. Pretty much every time the current album looks really nice. Yeah, a lot of them are iconic because I know there's uh, both Flower Boy and Igor have um, really iconic album covers. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, for sure, and I imagine this one would reach iconic status into the animal covers, and uh, yeah. yeah. Right, on to the actual album. Um, it's it's really damn good, honestly. I really I really do enjoy it. Why did the pie just flow upwards? <laughs> <laughs> the fly went wee wee wee. And the pie went wee wee. <laughs> But yeah, um, yeah, um, again, this is my first, this is my first time listening to like a full Tyler Creator, not only a Tyler Creator song, but Tyler Creator album as a whole. And yeah, he's got some like really good writing. Like you got songs like Say Chroma, which like introduces character. Um, then you got like Noid, which tackles like um the whole like paranoia, um around being famous. You know, just having basically zero privacy. Having this fear that everyone's pretty much watching you and shit. Like, that cycled really well, honestly. Did you say annoyed or annoyed? Annoyed. I just thought of that one fucking mascot thing I from like know, the 90s. That's what we said. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, we both said that. <laughs> like, like that. that just came up to, me, to my head. <laughs> the, the, the fucking the Domino's Pizza mascot. I, I still think about it. Mostly because of how, like, he was scrapped. I still no, like, no, it's because like Martin has a thing for Noid. No. Yeah, no, he does. He does. Uh, you know, you no. know, like hear me out and shit. Yeah, that's that's his hear me out. You know, just to spy you guys, I'm just gonna tell why 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 the Noid was scrapped. So I don't, so I don't, it was like this very very mentally. What does this have to do with the crate? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I I said I'm doing this. You can tell you, you can tell you can tell us off screen. Fine, but yeah, um, again, Noid. 
uh, you got Darling Eye, which has like, um, uh, just, uh, what like is it? Like, his, his emotions. Anyways, yeah, um, which is, which is like a reflection of like, is, is, of like love as a whole. Um, yeah, Hey Jay, which is like about unwanted pregnancy. And, well, what's interesting about that one in particular is just like, um, just expressing that fear towards like, like his and Jane's perspective, which I find really cool, and you don't see that too often in songs like these, honestly. Yeah, you do. You do get a lot of like different perspectives here at the sub. It's really cool, actually. It really is. Like again, moving on to a uh, judge, or at least a couple tracks down, uh, Judge Judy, which um, it is a play on the the show named Judge Judy, but I do, I do like how it plays off that because um, it's all about like. Taylor, uh, Tyler, uh, meaning this girl named Judy, and they have some, let's just say, freaky shit. Um, and he and he's fine with it because he doesn't judge Judy. It, it pays <laughs> off really well, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't want to spoil it, but it's a, it's a pretty sad twist at the end. Yeah. Let's just say, um, you got like. Uh, moving back up, we're going Rata Tai, which is like this kind of like um, this kind of like rambling sort of thing. If I like his um his character, which I find really really cool, and I do like how he like adds in so much and executes so well in such a short amount of time. Yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> yeah, I uh, got Sticky, which is like base, which is like basically a song about like you know fighting people and shit, which is pretty cool. Um, then you get to like the more emotional tracks somewhere around the end, like uh, with Take Off Your Mask being about like um, people who are too afraid to show their, their real selves or their true emotions. Uh, like I remember the examples were like a thug who secretly doesn't want to be a thug anymore, um, something about a single mother, and then at the end it turns to himself um, about his own like past mistakes that he's too afraid to like say out loud, and I find that pretty interesting. Yeah, it's really interesting. You do get to, to see all those perspectives. It, 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 he does, again, he does it really nicely. Yeah, uh, which falls well with uh, Tomorrow, which has him like pondering one or two start a family and continue his music career after like fully grasping um, how, how how fast time's been and how his mother has aged and, you know, tells him about wanting grandchildren. Uh, it was pretty emotional, honestly. And I do want to mention that, like, he, almost every song starts off with, like, um, a piece of his, a piece of advice from his mother, uh, which I find pretty cool. And it does wrap around really nicely around the end with the final track of the Sanded version. Um, I hope you find your way home, which um, does, like, end with, like, um, a, a bit of his mother just saying how much, how, how proud she is of him, which I find really sweet. It made me emotional, honestly. Yeah, it's really like that, that, Yeah, it, it paid off so well, and it does show like how much um, he took that advice to heart, how much he cares about his mom, how much his mom cares about him. It, it's super, super sweet. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, guys, the other tracks like thought it was dead, which I find to be the weakest track, but I still enjoy it. Not, nonetheless. Mm -hmm. Funniest part, um, apparently, uh, Father Was Dead was the most well-liked one, <laughs> from what I read from oh, a lot of reviews. <laughs> oh, love out. I guess uh, that's a hot take. I, I agree, though. <laughs> it's still good, <laughs> though. Yeah, 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 for sure. I just think, I just think the other one stood out to me to the mo more than that. Yeah. That's really it. Uh, they got like him, which has him <laughs> reflecting. On like his life, um, his absent father, I don't think it was like a ghost that he knows, cause his, cause his mom would be like, oh, you're just like your dad. Um, balloon, which is also really good, you know, don't stop, gotta keep pushing forward on that shit. And even the bonus track, uh, Mother, which is a vinyl exclusive, um, also sounds really good, which obviously from the tell is about his, about his mom. And, yeah. I can't, uh, yeah, I, can, I can gush about it basically forever. It's really, really uh, yeah. good. Quite possibly the best one that's by monthly thing so far. Yeah, for sure. It, it is it's super, 
super well done. And yeah, I can see why people love Tyler Creator. I remember seeing like a lot of hype around the album. I think even my one of my mutuals on, on Twitter was like surprised about it too, yeah. Um and yeah, I can see why. You know, it's a really, really good album that explores a lot about, you know, um him um as an artist, how he's going and shit. Um, going through all these like different characters and stuff, saying how far he's gone. It's really, really, really cool. Yeah, it, especially, um, I, I do think it especially, uh, would pay off if you're a big fan. It was our first time, but I know it's, uh, like, uh, from what I was reading there, it had a lot of stuff for, like, um, a lot of references to, like, the old stuff, and it just kind of, like, all, like, connected around the things. Yeah. I imagine it must be a, a massive payoff for, for Tyler fans. Yeah, because they, they do really like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I don't blame, and I don't blame it because that was really damn good. <laughs> yeah, for sure. A uh, motherfucker named Platinum Yoshi who bumped into me. No, I will fucking kill you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, nine out of ten for me. Maybe even a ten out of ten. Who knows? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. My favorite uh, tracks from it are uh, annoyed. Darling I, Hey Jade, Judge Juji, uh, Take Your Mask Off, uh, Like Him, and uh, Hope I Find Your Way Home. Yeah, same for me, honestly. <laughs> oh yeah. Ooh, and, yeah. And yeah, we ended up to buy monthly on the good spot, despite mostly not big bad albums. I guess we're slightly improving. <laughs> Holy slightly, but hey, uh, better than our last bi monthly. <laughs> oh, yeah, worst the best. Uh, worst is 143 by Katy Perry. Uh, like we've mentioned, yep. literal one out of ten. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, that was awful. I Terrible, hated it. even. It was. Fucking horrendous, and Katy Perry has just entered her second flop era, and for good reason. Like again, not only because she brought back that that fucking producer, she brought back that fucking producer, but also just made a terrible album. Is such, gen it's like not only insanely generic, but also just very phony. On top of it, it's just fucking putrid. <laughs> and I don't even like Katy Perry that much. It just feels insulting. Oh, yeah, I've never really been a Katy fan at all. I've I've never really liked any of her songs, just the... Man. Yeah, same. <laughs> like, I didn't know she just appeared constantly on the radio, because she's a big radio star. But, yeah, I don't like it every music. And, and yeah, even then, I find listening to this just fucking insulting. Just don't listen to it. Even out of curiosity. Yeah. Following that... Following the worst of best list is cancelled by Motley Q. Uh only it's only second worst because it's graciously short. Yeah, um mindfuck <laughs> old man Yosa Cloud uh woke people. Yeah. <laughs> Like, it, it, the songs are awful, and the cover of, of that one song is fucking funny coming from literal senior citizens, but again, it's like, it, it again, it's, it's, it's very short, it's over before you know it, it it's, 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 take, take, it's not long. <laughs> yeah, we, we did not need an album of them just yelling at clothes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> they got the second best, which is Moon Music by Coldplay. Again, it has some decent ideas, but overall, its execution is just meh. Yeah. Nothing to say. And, yeah. And by a long shot, uh, and, I, and I mean a very, very long shot, best one of this is Chromacopia by Tyler the Creator. Crazy. Crazy. Uh, and... that one's actually good. It has a lot of interesting themes of uh, Tyler as a creator. 
<laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah, it, it does uh, explore that very well. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And uh, yeah, we did it. Another bi monthly is complete. Wowie. Zowie. Ooh. Ooh. Um, I listen to a lot of music. <laughs> so true. Thank you, thank you for being such a good co-host, Renner. I know. Uh, I, th I think I'll be back every Friday. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, new co host <laughs> Next Friday, <laughs> come back. They just, you, you, you gotta just keep up the bit now. You're just gonna become the new co <laughs> Oh my god! Like I don't even listen. I don't even have to listen to the music. I just have to be here because I'm bored. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're just gonna keep coming on every Friday <laughs> just for this. Yeah, hey, uh, you wanna you wanna write the you wanna write the album? Yeah. All right. I already have it open. Where is it? Yes, sir. Maybe it was on the other window, but whatever. Let's close all these tabs oh, out. Let me screen share you, bitch. 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 <laughs> All right. Uh, where would you rank um Katy Perry's f one for free? Uh, below the Idol soundtrack. Yeah. <laughs> like for sure. <laughs> uh, this is episode. Um, what, what the fuck? <laughs> As I was saying, this is episode 102, wild. Wowie, zowie. Oh yeah, my PNG tuber goes wild, you should know the point, <laughs> you should get that by now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and then we got, uh, cancelled by, uh, Motley Crue. Hmm. <laughs> I wanna stay below broken by desire. <gasps> also, by the way, um cancelled is indeed spelled wrong in that album. <laughs> yeah, or at least spelled in the in the British way, because they're both like spelled differently. Oh, I didn't know there's the British way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> British people. Gosh darn British. British. Why is Viva Less Vengeance not even have the artist or anything? This <laughs> <laughs> is that bad. It's, I, we don't need to. We don't need to name them. It's or him because just one guy. <laughs> and then we've uh, got um, uh, Moon Music. Oh yeah. Um. Uh. Fucking. Below New King. Where are all the ones that I've recommended in the past few ones? They don't exist. You can't say that. And then, uh, of course, we gotta go up for, um, uh, uh, Chromacopia. <laughs> yeah. Um. Mm. I'm gonna say below making mirrors. Where is that? There it is. All right. I like that. I like how all the ones that I've recommended so far are on great shit. <laughs> I just yeah. I just have great music taste, that's why. Oh yeah. 
You know, that's why you're the co-host of the show. <laughs> like literally Infinity on High, Death of a Bachelor, all East Side ones. Also, the East Side. Oh wait, no, it's not actually. <laughs> I forget we had to put that in later. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, oh, wait, I, I, we gotta do the brackets for the last time. Oh, yeah, I got a bracket. I don't feel like finishing it. Uh, yeah, um, your, uh, grand, um, be, uh, I'll, I'll just put it up here. I don't, I don't feel like <laughs> doing the whole thing. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> I still think the match is over. Oh, yeah. She called off the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got, um, we got this one. Uh, we got this poll here uh, for, for the quarterfinals with um homework versus random access memories. <laughs> <laughs> uh, track of Daytona 500 edition by Pitbull and the Gorillas by Gorillas. Uh, and then you got good news for people who love bad news <laughs> versus the wall. <laughs> and Discovery versus Selfish. Uh, and then you go to the next one. Uh, you got, um, Random Access and Memories versus Track of Daytona 500 edition. <laughs> Those <laughs> and then, uh, you've got good news for people who love bad news versus discovery because those won. And then, uh, for the last one, you got, um, Trackhouse Daytona 500 edition versus discovery. Uh, you want to know what won? What won? Trackhouse Daytona 500 edition by Pitbull. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. You want to know what's extra funny about it winning? What is that was the last album we reviewed by the when we started the bracket <laughs> because <laughs> because I was in the same episode member. <laughs> oh yeah, so we went full circle. <laughs> it was it was all worth it just for that. Look at it! Look at it! One, it deserves it. It deserves it. Uh. Yeah, um, next time on Garfield Kurt, um, you know, I, I actually don't, I don't know about doing one next week. Maybe we could skip it. <laughs> next week on Garfield Kurt Reviews is the two-year anniversary of Garfield Kurt Reviews. And, uh, I don't think he wants to say it, so I might as well say it. No, no, um, no, you're fine, you're fine, you don't, you're fine, you no, 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 no. We're re-reviewing no, Marvin's no, Marvelous no, Mechanical no, Museum no, by Sally no, Hall. No. Oh. Yeah. See you next week. We're doing that next week for um to do like a definitive version of it. Uh yeah. Yep. Uh, I, I was, I was, I was dreading for this day to come, and now it's uh finally almost here. Yep, we've really been doing it for that long. <laughs> mhm. Mm Damn. Yeah. Oh, uh, you're, you're, you're gonna have to do the uh. That's about it. See ya, because I, I don't, I don't have the motivation after that. All right. Uh, that's about it. See ya.